So we've got our pile of stuff here and we're gonna uh, explore some basing options and some dice options in a moment. But I wanted to talk about the terrain that I'm gonna be using, creating, building, formulating for this build, for this Battletech build. And part one kind of started off with this amazing piece of cardboard in the background. It's, uh, it was a covering for a new TV, really heavy, really thick. And I'm like, I can't even cut this thing with a lightsaber. We've got to do something with this. So my mind starts formulating, my mind starts thinking. And I thought, let's make a, a skirmish board. Let's make something that can literally fit under my arm and I can bring to the gaming club and play Battletech on. Okay, if we're going to do that, uh, what are we going to populate it with? And this, this foam is going to be for... Um, effects and the mechs and everything later. So we'll move that kind of out. The idea was, let's do let's do City Fight. Because if you've played Battletech, if you've had the chance to play Battletech, the hills, the trees, the rubble, um, that's exciting. But City Tech is where it's at. The ability to be on top of buildings, have those multi-dimensions, the ability to have a battle going on and literally one building over, one street over, uh, another battle going on, the ability to incorporate infantry and tanks, and if we have a small footprint, I mean, this is a relatively small footprint. It's probably uh, two and a half, three hex maps, small footprint. The density of terrain is, is really going to dress it up. So in my mind, right away, it was, let's do city fight. Let's do city tech. So then this leads us into, um, and this is the hex city terrain by Death Ray Designs. I'm going to put the link down there in the info box. I just opened it up. We're going to do a, a build and an unboxing and get to the painting and get to everything. But in exploring city tech, city fight terrain, uh, I was looking for this matrix, kind of this, this sliding scale. The first was I didn't want to do a scratch built, really 100% custom terrain, simply because I wanted to fill up a whole table. I want to get this project um, moving, and I wanted all of the pieces... To, to match, to look like a city that was designed. When we scratch build terrain, uh, it's an awesome experience. It's a lot of fun. It makes sense for like a central terrain piece. But the problem with scratch built terrain is not only the time, but the pieces tend to look different. And that's okay if you have three or four pieces. Think of Warhammer 40K, fill in some rubble, it looks good. But we needed density. You know, we need literally hex city. We need lots and lots of density, lots and lots of buildings of different levels to, to, to really look like a packed city. I mean, I want to get in there when this thing is built and, and get eye level and be like, visualize your mech walking down the city street. And you've got those sensor pings going off. You've got that fusion spike. You know that mechs are somewhere in there. I want to create that tension. So the idea was I want to fill it up with a lot of terrain that looks great and has a similar design to it. The second criteria, which led me here to the Hex City, was well, we looked at this in a previous vlog, this idea of club terrain. This project is going to be something that I'm going to be using every week. I'm going to have this in a box. I'm going to get a box. Then over the box is going to be layered um, some foam. That's where this, this foam comes in. We're going to cut it up. And I'm going to have about you know, 20, 30 mechs got a lot of bases here. We're going to get to the bases. Bases are important, but I want to have 20 or 30 mechs, enough to build two or three lances, give some variety, give some choice. I mean, you can always bring your own toys, but Fritz always travels with multiple toys. And then layered over that is going to be another um, piece of foam or cardboard with the book, some smoke effects, some measuring sticks, ruling rulers, things like that. Uh, essentially a box that I can bring. And the terrain, I want it to look good but it needs to be extremely durable because literally on average, if I'm playing Battletech twice a week, I'm going to transport this to my car, to the club. We're going to play. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it back. We're going to transport it to my friend's house, take it out, put it up, play, put it back. That that day-to-day -day literal hours of, of gameplay, not to mention uh, big games pushing things around, it needs to stand up. It needs to be... Um, it needs to have that 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 bulk on it. Now, it also has to look good. I mean, it's really easy. I could just take some blocks of foam and, and model things up, and, and there you go, like a just giant brick terrain. But I wanted it also to look really, really good. And then, uh, finally, price was important, because if we're filling out an entire table, I mean, 
this is going to be packed of terrain. This, this might actually be too small, so we'll have some variety. Could probably do one and a half of these based on the terrain that's just here, unbuilt. What I'm looking for is um, the ability to pack it in with density. So price is important that I can get enough terrain ready to go. That led um, to this laser cut. This is a new offering by Death Ray Designs. And again, I'm gonna put the link down there under the info box. Uh, they do terrain for 40K. They've got a sweet Necron set up. They do other gaming systems. But what interested me was the Hex City for Battletech. I, I have yet to see, I think this is a, a unique first offering because I've yet to see mass produced solid tabletop, amazing tabletop quality terrain specifically scaled to Battletech, where you can go and pick up a kit, pick up a few extra buildings, and literally have an entire matching set of terrain to populate that, that has all that criteria that I'm looking for. So I was very, very excited um, to jump into this. Now, I've never built uh, laser-cut terrain before, so this is exciting also because this is going to be literally a first. Um, most of my terrain that I built over the years for Battletech is foam core terrain, and this is like 10 pounds worth of terrain here, has been foam core terrain or taking a railroad like Z scale, Battletech scale and kind of um, morphing it. So I'm excited to see the journey of how this stuff is, is created. The primary pack that I picked up, 11 buildings, 11 buildings ready to go. And we've got some, some unseen, reseen, new to be seen mechs on there along with their corporate plaza, plaza, excuse me, Nakatomi, looking at this um, to kind of have that, that capstone, that cornerstone, right? I wanted to have one big building in the middle, which is here, and then surrounded by multiple other corporate buildings. We'll have a little corporate espionage going. So the plan, we're gonna start building this. Part two is gonna be building this, seeing how it goes together, and then we're going to look at some painting options and figure things out. The other thing that interested me, and I'm, I'm going to turn this over to you guys for some feedback right now, because we are literally ground zero with this terrain kit. Um, the fact that these have internal space, and we've got the see-through design here, I'm, I'm thinking LED lighting. I mean, I've never done something like that. In all honesty, it's it's kind of um, intimidated me at times because I have my miniatures, and I tried it once with a dreadnought, and I was I was really scared because I didn't want to ruin the model, and it was small. Well, this stuff is robust enough. It's going to have the internal structure. I'm thinking like, let's just do some LED lighting, you know, with some button batteries, and kind of dress that up and and really turn that in because we're going to do some battlefield effects. These aren't just for mechs. I mean, they are. And we're going to look at this, but I wanted to make sure if I'm going all in on this, then we also want to have the accompanying battlefield effects that match it. Maybe we do some LED internals. So in the links, and this is where I'm going to tap into you guys uh, with the my secret sauce special weapon in the Battletech community, you guys with your amazing ideas and tactics, LED, kind of light effects in there. Some links, some ideas, some things to explore. I mean, maybe it's something as simple as just, uh, I don't want to say a tea light candle, but, but just literally like a button LED that I put in there that allows that to kind of radiate out because there's a lot of glass effects on here. It might be something as simple as that, and maybe I'm overthinking, overcomplicating it. But I want to take advantage of the fact that this terrain is modular and it is so kind of robust. I want to build something into it. Part two, let's look at the bases. Uh, then we're going to get building. And then, of course, we got to map out the board somehow and, and start looking at that. And then we've got to get to the mechs. But I've got to tackle this one piece at a time. We're going to tackle the terrain first so I can get pumped, get inspired. Then we're going to jump in on the mechs.